what's uh, a really interesting video that's getting a lot of traction online right now involves our friend Tara Jean from Jack FM. This is what happened when she found out that Carol Burnett is coming to Vancouver. I can't believe she's coming. She's coming in April. Uh, they're announcing it in April. And we want to know, will you go with some listeners? Oh, now? my God. Yes, I will. I will. I totally will. Okay. That's like my dream come true. I know. She's your own Oh, my God. Oh. I just can't even believe it. I just can't believe you're videoing this right now. Are you pranking me? I'm just like in early not, April no, Fools no, and you guys are like doing this thing to me because I could not even handle no, no, that. No, 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 April Fools. It's happening. Oh my God. I just love this video so much. I love that she thought she was momentarily getting pranked there. It's great. You know what? Tara Jean's joining us right now over from News 1130. Hey, Tara Jean, good morning. <laughs> Hey, good morning, guys. So I'm not embarrassed in the slightest. You shouldn't be. So what is the what is it about Carol Burnett? Oh my goodness. Okay, so Carol Burnett was a huge inspiration for me just as a kid watching TV reruns in the you know early 80s. But specifically, she was the person who inspired. Oh no, I'm gonna do it again. That's okay. She was the person who inspired me to become an actress. I went to theater school. Um, I became a playwright. Uh, I did a lot of musical theater. I did a season at Bard on the Beach. Uh, I definitely um, it was inspired a lot by her com her, her her sense of comedic timing. And her costumes, and just her 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 brash sense of humor, and the chance to meet her is just so overwhelming to me that when they told me the news, I completely lost all self sense of self consciousness. So set it up for us. You're sitting there uh, at your desk, and uh, they, they you had you already known that she was coming, and they broke the news to you that uh, they were offering you a chance to go see Carol. Absolutely not. At this point in my life, I had actually, a couple months before, had a cry that I thought, I'll never see her, I'll never see her. And I'm sitting there, they come in, they tell me that she's coming, then I break down, then the news that I get to take listeners is even crazier on top of that. <laughs> and uh, yesterday, I have an update for you, the promoters of the event on June 18th at Queen Elizabeth Theatre, they saw the video yesterday, and they've arranged for me to <laughs> have a personal meet and greet with Carol Burnett before the show. Yeah! That's but huge. I don't know what to I don't know what to wear, so I'm thinking <laughs> if you know Carol Burnett, I might do a remake oh. of her costume where she put the oh, curtain the rod to her dress. Rod. Yes. I love it. I love it. Do that. Now, Terry we'll Jean, I mean, we work in an industry, we work in a business where we meet people, celebrities, all walks of life. You know, you, you, you talk to musicians, you talk to actors. Is this like, have you, we don't usually get phased by meeting famous people, but this one really is hitting home for you, right? Has this ever, like, have you ever had a similar experience with another celebrity? Well, I did kind of get uh, a little bit nervous when I interviewed Adam Lambert a, th a few years ago. <laughs> okay. We, we were interviewing him when he had just come off winning American Idol, and I was doing an interview with him with my co-host from Jack Kai, and I got so nervous that Kai had to take over the interview. Wow. So I have no idea how bad this could go when I actually see Carol Burnett. Oh my gosh. Oh, we have to send wait. a camera for this. We yeah. cannot wait. We are so happy for you, and lots of people are just chiming in. It's just such a great story. Thank <laughs> you.